my channel my name is Nikki thank you for stopping by today I'm going to be working on a 16 by 20 canvas and I have a color palette that I'm really excited to share with you guys so the first color that I have is the artist loft in portrait pink um, it's a really pretty color I've used this several times and then I have got the Master's Touch Liquid Acrylic in Milky White. This is Hobby Lobby's um, alternative to the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic from Michaels. But these paints are thinner than the Flow Acrylic. Um, but the concept is supposed to be the same. So I've taken this and I've mixed this, one part this, to one part Anita's Craft Paint in Cream. Um, and then these two combined, I've mixed one to one with my pour medium. And I have got it mixed up in this container. Um, so seeing me pour out of this, I'm not just pouring it straight. It is mixed in that container. The rest of my color palette is all metallics. Um, first, I've got the Rustoleum Metallic Accents in the color me Metallic Champagne. Um, I found this really large container at Walmart. Um, on clearance and I got it and I like it it's really nice if you don't have that an alternative to it would be the Americana decor metallics in the color champagne gold these two are very much alike um, so that is an alternative for you the other colors I have um, antique bronze by the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. I've got it mixed up in this container with my pour medium. I also have the pewter from that same line. Again, it's mixed in my container. And I have got the Deco Art Americana Decor. This is the outdoor living, but the um, the Americana Decor Metallics has the same color um in that line so feel free to you know use whichever but this is in the color rose gold um this is just a container i have been using found it on clearance and um yeah so that's why i'm going with this this one is wonky and i need to return it so we're not going to use that <laughs> um it makes clumps and i can't figure out what's wrong with it so anyway we are going to be combining our paints in this container i know it looks rough but i promise i've cleaned it out it's good to go so we're going to mix our paint in here I'm also going to be doing the wrecked ring um, technique I'm just not using the um, the satin enamel milk paint mixture I'm going to use the Anita's mixture instead of that so I'm going to put this in make sure it don't have any clumps in it I shook it really 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 good um, so today is Saturday the 27th of June and I did a pour last week with this exact same color palette um, the only difference is I had used this color from Craftsmart called Espresso, but I'm, there's not enough in here to do a pour. So I've substituted this um, for this. Other than that, it's the same, and I think that's going to work the same. Um, so I love this color palette. It, I know that it's beautiful and it works well together the reason why I chose a 16 by 20 um, is because the piece I poured the first time is a 20 by 20 and I have a thing about similar dimensions um, so I want them to be similar dimensions if they're displayed either side by side or in the same area they're matchy matchy that's just one of my little quirks <laughs> um, and I've mentioned that several times on this channel 
Everybody is entitled to have their little quirks. Right? Right. Um, so, I've got my paints are just going all down the sides of my jar. It's okay, though. I had originally planned on doing another 20 by 20, and that's why I had so much of this paint mixed up. But, um, I did a 16 by 20. So, I think I'm going to stop here because I don't need, that's plenty of paint. Plus, I'm going to put down a really nice base. Um, I like to put down a really nice base when it contains the Anitas because it does make for some really cool effects. Usually, sometimes, maybe, if I got my ratios right. And I really love this squeegee thing for um, smoothing out my paint for my base layer. It goes really quick, way faster than with a brush, I promise. counting up. I think school starts like August the 23rd. Um, so I have a little less than two months of summer break left and I promise it will go fast, right? Um, but we're not going to get to go on holiday this summer, but that's okay. You don't have to go somewhere to take a break, right? You can take a staycation, which is what we're doing. Make sure I don't have any little bits. Okay. So, what can I tell? Oh, I know what I can tell you guys about. So, I had shared several months ago that our um, one of our um, dogs had and so we had decided to get another dog and I had a co-worker I'm just gonna do um, ring pour and jiggle pour combined I had a co-worker who said a stray mama dog had come up to his house and she had puppies <laughs> and um, he said he was going to have to send the puppies to um, and the mama dog, because he is not a dog person. He has like 40 cats, um, but he does not have any dogs, but he's an animal lover in general. But he said he had been trying to make arrangements to get the puppies into a shelter, but due to the coronavirus um, and stuff, it was just difficult to make those arrangements. And um, so... I had mentioned to him that we were looking for a dog that was not like huge, but you know, would be a bigger dog, not a little toy dog. Um, and so he showed me a picture of the dogs and there was one dog that I really liked, but of course this is gonna be a dog for mom. Um, so I sent her the picture of the dog. I'm like, do you like him? And she said, yeah. He is really nice. So, we've made arrangements to adopt him. And his name is Roly Poly. I'm going to take some video of him and put him, put the video in. Hopefully this, this video. But anyway, he has turned out to be just the perfect little dog for mom. Mom has a dog that's a long hair dots, and I've shown her on my channel before. Her name is Miss June, and um, she's very hyper. 
she's an old dog but she has got so much energy um it's crazy just like she just is i don't know she needs to take something to calm down i think um but she's just a really like vivacious little critter um and mom says if the dog is bigger you know the dog cannot be like that he has to be a very calm dog which is why we were looking for a lab because labs are generally um very calm and laid back once they get older when they're younger they chew up everything but um when they get older they're just kind of like those steadfast you know old souls um and that's what mom was wanting so my coworker told me that roly-poly was like of all of the the pups in the litter he was the most calm that you know he didn't even really bark that much unless somebody pulled up in their driveway and so um i said okay that sounds like a perfect dog for mom and of course my paint's going off the side i'm gonna go this way then this way and then this way okay so um my coworker was correct about that he is so calm and laid back and miss june just she goes nah, 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 nah. you know she's barking he's just looking at her like you need to take a chill pill um and so that's really what we wanted for mom so i'm really 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 happy um that we found him he's just a good little dog but um he is doberman and lab mix now i'm gonna go this way then this way then this way like a hat twerk okay this way but bless his heart dobermans are like they tend to be quite lean and long in the back and the doberman is really evident in his hind quarters and he's so gangly, like a, he looks like a little horse that's just been born. You know, when the horse or the calf is trying to stand up, their little legs are like all wobbly. He's just like that. He's the funniest little thing. And for it took it took several days um, for him to be able to figure out the steps up the porch, um, and I had to I would have to like coax him along because he would his legs couldn't it, it they just weren't working for him um but he's figured them out and he goes up and down the steps um on his own now and he's doing so good on his own um and he was meant to be an outside dog um but the first when we first got him I was like, I don't want him to be outside alone. He was an outside dog. Um, always. He had never been inside. Um, and But he'd always been with his brothers and sisters and mother. I think there was like five puppies in the litter. And so we didn't want him to be by himself the first, you know, couple of nights. So we got him a, his own blanket and his own pillow and he would just like it's like he knew he was my mom's dog and not my dog um because he just went and laid at my mom's feet he he dragged his little blanket over to my mom's feet and he just laid by her and he just laid there and like because i was concerned that he might um because he is still pretty young he's like six months old and I was concerned that he might get excited, you know, being in a new place, and he might jump on her, you know, not not being a bad dog, just being a dog, um, but he's not, he is so calm, this is the calmest, chillest little dog ever, and he just, he just lays by my mom's side, and um, he's learned, he's learned, he's already, he's learned potty training. And if he has to potty, he goes to the door, um, and he just stands by the door. And we open the door, and he just goes and potties. And so he doesn't potty inside, which is really good. Um, that's always a challenge, is potty training dogs. 
<laughs> they're some of them they're really really good and then some of them's like oh, you're making me lose my hair um, but he did so good with his party training and I think it's helpful that he has Miss June that he you know he kind of learned from her because Miss June is party trained as well so they um you know he kind of I'm sure just kind of learned from her um but we just you know we we're I was just kind of like mom are you sure you want him to be inside because he's been outside his whole life and she's like well if he seems to prefer it outside then he can be an outside dog but if he seems to prefer it inside then he can be an inside dog we'll let him choose and I said okay so we figured when we let him outside a potty if he you know if he's hesitant to come back in or whatnot then he's probably more comfortable outside right but every time we let him go outside to potty he just he potties and then he comes straight back to the door and he just stands by the door and waits so I think he likes to be inside um, and he loves his blanket he loves his blanket but he does share with, with Miss June he'll share his blanket with Miss June um, so he doesn't snap at her or anything like that because Miss June is comparatively Miss June is the wild child and he's just like he don't he don't care about nothing um, but I think he's still so young that he don't really bark that much but I think when he gets older um, you know he'll be he'll be more confident and if somebody comes up to the house or went out which was the point of getting him is because mother um, is deaf in one ear and partially deaf in her other ear so her hearing has just deteriorated especially over the past year um, and she's she's had a lot of um, bronchitis and um, like respiratory tract infection and stuff like that and somehow the, all those infections and sinus infections has affected her hearing a lot and so um, her hearing really has deteriorated especially over the past year and it's just worrisome for her to be up here at the house and I'm not here when I'm at work so um, I feel better with her having the dog and when he gets a little older and a little more confident because we've had we've had him for two weeks now I think and um, yeah he um, He's, I don't think we could have found a better dog for mom. She loves him. And it's like he knows that he has to, like, be careful around her and be calm. And, yeah. So, yeah, we're really, really happy that we have him. Um, so, anyway, this is lovely, which I knew this color palette would work out. Um... I think it's going to work really well with the other piece I poured also um, after I move this out when it whenever we um, this finishes up and I set it to the side to dry I will show you the other piece um, and you can see what I mean as far as them being a pair um, so yes I have plenty of paint left over I probably will do another piece um, I'll record it just because I've learned to record everything but um, it might not be like a talk through or anything I might not even put it up um, but this piece is lovely I think it's fantastic I know that the Anita's is not going crazy on this um, there's just a few cells that's okay though I like seeing this really pretty pattern that is created from the comb um, I like that so Sometimes we want really big sales. Sometimes we want to see the pattern. For the vast majority of this, I did the um, jiggle, not really a ring pour. Um, so, anyway, this is really nice. I will take you down and give you some close-ups. Okay, so, there you go. These are some close-ups. And those really swooping designs are so beautiful, I think. Um, it just makes for a really interesting piece. Anyway, 
so the piece is dried um, it's looking all nice and pretty um, and yeah I will take in let me move this other piece that dried I'm show you guys these are the two pieces side by side um, so I'm not really sure about the arrangement um, maybe it looks better in this sort of way it looks like it's like a continuation I'm not sure I'm gonna have to um, fool around with it a little bit and just see how I feel about um, feel about how it's um, displayed together but um, it looks really good together and I'm really happy with the both of them and um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll speak to you all very soon bye